Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, tonight I will be doing a hair review on this new hair that I have in my hair. And it is this. So it's called HIT. H-I-T. Comes in a package like this. And the HIT stands for Hair and Trend, and it says, feels like Remy, blend with 100% human hair. Okay, and so yeah, it's a blend. So what I have in my hair is a 18 inch, a 16 inch, and a 12 inch. Um... The 18, I really don't remember the price, but it was, it was cheap. It was cheap. I think the 18 inch was like no more than 20, maybe $21. And then it works itself up. It was an expensive pair. I'm sorry, I don't have the exact price, but it's cheap hair. Okay, um, I've had this hair in for about, it's been less than a week. Um, to be exact, I want to say it'd be five days. It'd be five days. Um, this is how long it comes on to me. Sorry, I do not have a bra on. <laughs> I'm stand up. Let's see it. Um, I'm really tall. I'm like five eight. I think so it's really long um I will say this hair is very kind of nappy yeah kind of nappy but I did get rained on and snowed on for at least like two or three days so yeah and uh, that may have contributed a little bit but the hair um if it looks really great. I don't know if you guys can see. I know my camera quality is like not good. But um the hair looks really great. Um it feels um okay. Um does it feel like Remy? It did it when I first put it in like the first day, but because it got rained on, um I don't know, like I'm so upset about that, but um, so far, I mean, I do like the hair. Um, it's really, 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 really thick. So it's really full. And I do have three packs of hair, all three packs of my hair. And you can see it's really full. See? It's really full. Really full. And, um, my only complaint so far is that it's, it's kind of nappy. Like, I have to constantly, um... And that's because it's long too. So I have to constantly, you know, brush it and, you know, all that. But other than that, you know, so far I'm, I'm liking the hair. I mean, cheap hair, I can't expect too much. But I'm going to maintain this hair and try to keep it in for almost a month. I'll let you guys know how that works. Um, okay. Um, there's a couple other things that I wanted to do um, product reviews on. And one of them is product from MAC, and this is MAC's Mineral Mineralize Skin Finish Natural, and this is in Deep Dark. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys can see this on my face. Like, see how it looks? Probably don't. Let me see this light. Probably can you. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see. I'll take pictures but um I'm actually surprised to say this but I don't like this I don't like this product at all like I have fairly good skin and this is making my face look really cakey and looks like it's it might I might be allergic to it like it's, it's giving my face the, it's doing the most like I don't know what it is but I won't be buying this again, and I'm really upset because this is like $20, $28 from the Mac store. 
and I really thought, you know, I mean, it's MAC. This is my first MAC product, and now that I know why, like, my face, my, I mean, my skin doesn't need MAC. I can use pretty much almost any makeup, and it's going to look like MAC. Everybody always tells me, it's like, you got MAC on? I'm like, no. But, um, the foundation that I have on is, um, actually, I'm not going to review on that, but if you guys want me to, I will do that, um, another time but it is the um, new covergirl 301 foundation and um i use that and then i put this over top of it and i'm again to you guys probably can't see it but i don't like what it's doing to my face and i'm going to try to get a good picture and um put it somewhere in this video that you can see but um i probably won't be using that on my face no, I'm actually, yeah, I'm not going to use that on my face no more. I've actually been using, since I've been using a CoverGirl, I've been using this real cheap $2 LA Colors. I'm not doing a review on that yet either, but it's from LA Colors, and it is um, a pressed powder in cappuccino, and I've been putting that over top of my um, foundation, liquid foundation, and I've been really loving that. I just thought that this MAC was going to, like, I don't know. I mean, it's MAC. So I thought it was going to do something like great for me and it just turned out to be a fail. So that's that. Um, also another product that I want to review is, it's just this concealer and it is in the color tan, CJ07 tan, you see that, and this is from NYX, it's a cream concealer. And um supposed to be a full coverage beyond full coverage you know okay um it looks like this you guys can see that so far I mean I do like this I got this because I've always used I use this only really for my eyebrows I need for my eyebrow I have um, been using it under here um I like it because I use I was using the LA colors um pro concealer that i got from my local beauty supply store and i mean that was that worked fine for me like for real i just wanted to try this because i mean it's a cream concealer that i know i see a lot of videos of people using cream concealers especially for your under your under eyebrow area yeah and i like it um i will buy it again um i would recommend it so yeah, so that's about it. So, um, if you have any questions about this hair or the um, any of the products that I listed, um, feel free to leave a comment, um, message, um, Instagram. I will leave my Instagram name underneath this video. Um, whatever. But thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.